We wanted a chair that would work well in the conference room and work well for executives and in some cases be a, a very good uh, task chair. And when I design a chair, I design it by sub-actions. That's the armrest is one action, the seat height's another action, the backrest tilts another action. All those are separate actions. Each one has to be efficient and use the right material. I have always started with a process that allows me to work those things out on a, an isolated basis before I worry about how it's going to look. As a result of seeking a, a really good adjustable arm, I was led in a direction that would allow me to do that in the best mechanical and uh, serviceable way. That led to the dominant visual feature of the chair, which I'd not I did not have in mind from the beginning, and that is the horseshoe-shaped aluminum support. Many chairs have what they call a lumbar support that they have to adjust to put in the right place. Most people don't know that much about such a thing. They're, half of them put it in the wrong place. So I've always insisted that the back adjust to the person. You don't have to adjust anything to be able to recline. It's automatic. It, it reads your weight and it converts that into the mechanism which allows it to recline with the proper amount of force. We have this unique way of what is called a form sensing mesh that will accommodate any body shape and give you appropriate back support. If you're short, tall, wide, narrow, the back will accommodate you.